Picture this. You decide to go for a late night coding session when suddenly your partner tries to murder you. Hey guys, if you were to ask me the reasons for why I wanted to become a software developer, they would be one, they make a lot of money. The list could end here. Two, they can show off their code and confuse their friends. Dude, are you hacking? What I'm trying to say is that having a good IDE theme is important. That's why today I wanted to rank my favorite VS Code themes, perfect for developing. Before we begin the rankings, these are, in my opinion, the things I look for that make up a good theme. Note that all these themes are found in the VS Code marketplace as that is my main IDE for developing. A good theme is composed of three components, clarity and contrast, aesthetics, and versatility. The first one, clarity and contrast, in my opinion, is the most important one in a theme. It doesn't matter how good a theme looks, if I can't read my code, it's futile. I feel like this is where a lot of themes already fail. It could be the background color being too bright or too dark, or maybe a certain color standing out too much and distracting me. It may not look like it, but it's pretty damn hard to make a theme. You also have to take into consideration the syntax highlighting, which has to make sense. You can't just put random colors because they're pretty. Talking about Prettiness? I don't think that's a word. <laughs> that's where the second component comes in, aesthetics. I drive alone past your street. Take me to church, yeah, a theme could be legible, but would you really want to code in this? Now then, the last thing that makes a theme really stand out is versatility. What I mean by that is how a theme looks in various programming languages. A theme may look amazing in JavaScript, but terrible in Java. I put this one at the bottom of the list, because I'm pretty sure you're not going to be coding with six different languages a day. Now, since I'm not a nerd, since I only know two programming languages, I am still sorry, HTML. It was the first real programming language which I learned. I'm sorry, HTML. Versatility isn't as important to me. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to the ranking. At the number 12 spot, making it the worst, best theme, we have Synthwave 84. This is a super fun theme, but not really great for programming with it. It has a really nice nostalgic aesthetic, which I love, and a super cool feature, neon text. Yes, this is real. The only bad thing about this is that it gets really laggy. Plus your VS Code tells you it's broken. But if you can ignore that, this is a really cool theme. At the number 11 spot, we have Nord. Now, Nord is a really popular theme, not just in VS Code. They even have their own website. Though it admittedly looks really nice, I feel like the colors are a little bit too similar to each other. It all just looks the same to me. The theme really gives off a mountainous, outside-ish vibe with the green, which I really like. This theme is great for minimalists and also for people who already use Nord for their setup. Just like my wallpaper. The number 10 spot is reserved for Dark Horizon. This theme is just cool. If you want to show off how cool of a programmer you are to your friends, this is the theme for you. It will literally look like you're writing magic. It has surprisingly good readability as it makes use of bolded text, and it's perfect for coding at night. Though I feel like the pitch black background isn't ideal for coding during the daytime. At number 9, we have the high and mighty Dracula theme. This theme is one of the most popular themes of all time. I mean, this is all the places it's available in. I put it on number nine for two reasons. One, even though the colors are legible, I'm not a huge fan of the color scheme. Two, since this theme is literally everywhere, I would get tired of it very quickly. But yeah, it's still a really good theme. At the number eight spot, we have Night Owl. This is a super dark friendly theme, which I really like. It is amazing for coding at night. The color palette has decent colors, though I do wish it had a little more contrast to it. But I really fell in love with italics thanks to this theme, which has them on by default, though there is an option to disable them if you wanted. Also, the name's just cool. At number seven, we have Palanite, or at least I think that's how it's pronounced. This is a very popular theme in the VS Code marketplace, and for very good reasons. It is very colorful, so it has the aesthetics portion down. So if you're into that, this theme's for you. I personally can't really stand the bright in-your-face colors, but I still really like this theme. One problem I do have with this theme is that the text in the sidebar, so where your files and folders are, is really opaque. I have to squint really hard to read my files. So at the end of the day, this theme is more eye candy than practical, but it's still really good. At the number six spot, we have GitHub 
GitHub's. We have GitHub's official theme. I really don't have much to say about this one. It's a really good theme. It's really cool having the iconic GitHub theme in VS Code. I think it looks amazing to be honest. And if you use GitHub a lot, I highly recommend it. But just like Dracula, I see how you could get tired of this one pretty quickly. We are now entering the top five and at the number five spot, we have Tokyo Night. This theme is really nice. Just like Night Owl, it's amazing for coding at night. The colors are super pretty and it's pretty legible too, though I do wish it had slightly more contrast to it. It kind of gives off a cyberpunk vibe to me for some reason, so if you want to look like you're hacking NASA, use this theme. At number four, we have Monkai Pro. This theme is awesome. It has outstanding legibility and the different filters make it so that it's almost impossible to get tired of it. Plus, it's also super pretty. The only bad part about this theme is that you have to pay for it unless you're okay with random pop-ups showing up the theme amazing the random pop-ups that show up when you code not so much and now for the podium the third best vs code theme in my opinion is field lights this is a theme that really took me by surprise. It has an amazing color palette with interesting yet very legible colors. It also comes with its own icons, which don't look bad at all in my opinion. Plus, the blue and yellow look so good with it. This theme is just honestly amazing. In second place, we have... Does this theme even count? We have Vibrancy. Now, <laughs> this is not your typical theme. Vibrancy transforms your VS Code from this to this. This theme honestly makes your VS Code look so good. If you're one for aesthetics and have an extremely fast PC, I highly recommend this theme. Plus, it works with other themes too, so you can pair your favorite theme on top of this one. So yeah, it does get buggy at times, but I mean, come on, look at this! And finally, the number one best VS Code theme is... One Dark Pro. This theme is so good! Out of all of the themes I've mentioned in this video, I don't think any one of them has as good of color palette and legibility as One Dark Pro. Inspired by Adam's color palette, rest in peace Adam, One Dark Pro is currently the most downloaded theme in the VS Code marketplace, which to me makes a lot of sense. Even while trying out themes for this video, I always kept coming back to One Dark Pro. I think I've just been using it for so long that it gives me a sense of home. Okay, I'm merging now, but seriously, this is a great theme. And those were the rankings. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like and consider subscribing. Tell me what your favorite theme is down in the comments below. Also, and I forget to say this in all my videos, I have a Discord server. <laughs> Link in the description if you want to join. And with that, I'm out. Bye.